don't go away. The camera quality does get better. I'm just here to say, for the rest of this video, I have got feathers in my hair. I wasn't aware of it. It's not dandruff. It's feathers and dust because I've been crawling around on the floor. Don't ask. And here's a snippet of the most well-known song from this album that I'm going to be reviewing. <laughs> And welcome to my new show where I review albums that have been out for 20 years. Today we'll be doing the album This Is My Truth, Tell Me Yours by the Manic Street Preachers. Now as a bit of background, prior to me listening to this this week, I'd heard If You Tolerate This Your Children Will Be Next, however I had not heard any others that I'm aware of. So this is pretty new to me and the idea being we can I guess kind of way up, is it still good now, or does it sound like 90s shite? So 20 years ago today, on the 22nd of September 1998, this album was fresh in at the charts at number one, and let's, let, let's look at how it is, that's, that's the idea. So first of all, I listened to the album during casual driving around for work. I'm a community nurse, I'm in the car a lot. So I thought I'd listen to the album casually as you do, kind of not really taking too much in but listen as it goes. I do think the album does have a few banging tunes on it, with the first few and the last few being kind of anthemic and really kind of, you can jump and pump and in the middle you can kind of flump and slump. It does have a few songs around the middle that I do really like and what we have to bear in mind is with albums, with the, with the majority of albums really, you want to open it with something punchy and catchy, close it with something punchy and catchy, the middle is kind of the experimental part where you can chuck in a few curveballs. With this album there are some, some songs where you do kind of, well for me, some songs where I did kind of tune out and start paying attention and, you know. Whereas there, there are a couple of songs here and there that I do like. Strangely enough, there is one called Born A Girl. And I wish I had been born a girl instead of what I am. Now as a song that is a slow one, you're not going to find that on in clubs and things, whereas for me, that one, I like that one. In terms of production, I do think listening to this album, you would not, well I, would not know that this is a 90s album. It sounds up to par with a lot of albums I listen to nowadays that are still being released. So, you know, you listen to some albums and you think, oh god, this is a bit cringy, this is so 90s, oh, this is so 80s, especially 80s. Whereas with this, it didn't feel like a 90s album, which I guess is good. Was it ahead of its time? Was it in its own time? You know? And I'm not a fan, I wouldn't consider myself a fan of the Manic Street Preachers. As I say, I'd heard one song before this, but not a lot. So... So yeah, I, I guess you could say it won me over. One thing I would say is in terms of the musical style, I know a lot of people refer to them as the Manic Street Depressives, the Manic Street Whingers. They are a bit, you know, if you tolerate this, your children will be next. They're not a happy band, but sometimes you do just want something, if you're feeling a bit shitty, you want to listen to music that validates the fact that the world's a bit shit sometimes. So, you know, they're that kind of band. They're not a band that I'd listen to all the time. Or it's not an album I would listen to all the time. But when you're in that kind of mood, then yeah. Yeah, I think it's... It's quite suitable. So, as an all-rounder, I am planning to do a blog as well, a bit more in-depth. This is kind of a vlog of touching the surfaces. But yeah, as an all-rounder, I'd give it a... 7.8 out of 10. 8 seems a little too high because it's not a real kind of... It's not going to stick with me. This isn't an album that I'm going to be going back to loads. Whereas some albums do, some, some albums you really get kind of captivated in. I enjoyed it, it was a good album, a 5 would be average, I'd say it's better than average, but it's not, 
it's not my new favourite album if that makes any sense. So we'll go with a 7.8 out of 10 and stay around for the blog. That'll probably go up over the weekend. Ciao for now!